Hello and welcome to my channel. So this genuinely is going to be a quick video today. Um, I thought I'd give you an update on something, but first off, in my last video I, not say showcased, but for me I used for the first time the Chanel Le Beige um, Eau de Tint Water Fresh Tint. And yeah, basically a very, very sheer lightweight foundation. I'm going to, I'm I'm not convinced on it. I think it gives a really nice finish to the skin, especially like about 15 minutes after application. It's really nice. But I thought I would show you, because all I've done today is put on the water... Oh, obviously moisturising and that. Put on the Water Fresh Tint. Used my Le Beige Healthy Glow Lip Balm in the colour Deep. And... Then also just followed that up with a very light dusting from my Becca Be A Light face palette. I'll show you that blinding you. Which has got those colours there. So that's all I've done. And we're in completely natural light, so it's different one side to the other. A bit more window light coming in here. But that's all I've done. So I thought I'd just show you as an update. I'm going to carry on using it. I think it's nice for no makeup days, basically. It does give a nice glow. Um, I am going to be trying laser on my skin, so in a few days. So I'll probably do a bit of a, I may do a bit of a diary on that, so you guys can see, you know, completely without makeup, the befores and the afters, and then we'll we'll see together if it works or not, what what it helps. So two minutes in, let's get to the topic of the video, which is Chanel quality or lack thereof. So it, this is something that um, Sophie Showhead has done a particular video on and spoken about in terms of not just Chanel but other luxury brands as well and some certain quality issues. She highlighted, um, as I'm going to talk about now, particular issues with Chanel costume jewellery. So this is not about the bags, this is Chanel costume jewellery and I highlight the word costume, not Chanel fine jewellery. I wish I was in a position to comment on that, but I'm not. Um, so I absolutely love Chanel costume jewellery. I really do. I think it looks really nice. Um, certain seasons, I feel like I want loads of it. Um, there's a sale on right now in Harrods. There is a Chanel costume jewellery sale on. So some of the last season bits are in the sale. They normally go half price as well, so it's worth checking out. Anyway, I then set when I was in, picking up what I've got to talk to you about. So my first ever pair of Chanel costume jewellery earrings are these ones that I'm about to show you and I love them, they're being pearls, they're gold and cream, they go with so much, I've worn them a fair bit. I don't by any means wear them daily and you can see I'm, I don't even wear earrings daily because I'm normally late and rushing and whatnot. and this is the weekend and my day hasn't quite turned out as planned. But, um, yeah, starting with the beagle finding some fox poo to roll in. Hey ho! Um, so, these are the first pair of Chanel earrings I owned. I loved them, wore them to pieces. Well, not to people, well, actually quite literally to pieces. Wore, wore them a fair bit. I'm not, didn't even wear them every week, but wore them a fair bit and had an issue with them. Now, when other people have said, oh, Chanel costume, do it, does this, does that, I'm one of those people that I often think, well, how careful have you been with the item? So, I can genuinely say, I have been really careful with these earrings. So I'll insert now, probably up here, a picture of the damage before I took them in. So you can see from that that basically what has happened is the little pearls have fallen out. And I actually have two here with me. I'm going to try and show you. They are of differing size and they are tiny. I'll try and show you without them falling off my hand. Well, there's one gone already. Anyway, it's not like I need them. Yeah, there's one little pearl there that's fallen out. So, when I looked at the picture, I could see in total eight little pearls had fallen out of one and just one pearl out of the other earring. Now, in terms of me wearing these, yes, I've worn them a fair few times. I have never slept in them. I have never put perfume on them, I have never showered in them, or anything like that. So they have literally been put in just before I go to work, I've worn them to work, I've come home, I've taken them out as soon as I've got in the door, 
and put them away carefully in a jewellery box in like a little earring slot bit. So they've not been mistreated whatsoever. But you saw from the picture that I've inserted there the damage that happened. Anyway, there's a good, you know, I took them, to, I took them back to Chanel and I actually went to Harrods and I picked them up. So I will show you now what they look like. These had to be sent away to Paris for repair. It was a complimentary repair, so that was good. Um, and that was a complimentary repair without me having to ask for a complimentary repair. It was forthcoming, so that was even better. Um, took a while though. Went in, um, said what was wrong, and basically was expect you know, had it all boxed up ready and was basically going gonna go, well, there you go, do the paperwork, I'll sign, I'll come back when they're ready. Um, but it took a long, long time. I don't know what I was waiting for because after waiting for probably about half an hour, they came back and then that's what we did. So I'm not quite sure what that first half hour was about. Maybe the sales associate I spoke to has talked to my manager. No idea. Anyway, I was told it would take up to eight weeks because it had to be sent back to Paris and then sent back. That was on the 18th of April. On the 31st of May, I received an email saying, you know, welcome your, I'm paraphrasing here, um, but you know, your, your earrings are ready to collect, so it's all done. So I went in and collected them, and they came in the little pouch. Here they are, and you can see, I mean, I absolutely love them still. And as I said to the sales associate, with them being damaged, I basically stopped wearing them. Here they are, post repair. And you can see how pretty they are. I'm trying to go in a bit closer, will you focus? There we go, so you can see there all the little pearls are back where they should be. So I haven't worn these yet, I've literally just unboxed them as I've only just got them back. But hopefully they will last and last a bit longer. They certainly look good as new. So yeah, overall success story. Like I say, a disappointment with the quality because I really don't think they should have done that to start with, especially given how careful I've been with them. Which shouldn't, you know, for those that know me, it wouldn't come as a surprise because I'm careful with everything that I own. So they really shouldn't have done that. But she should have put it right. We'll see what happens. And if the same thing happens again, then I'll take them in again and have to get them sent off and go from there. It has made me a little bit wary in future of buying um, Chanel custom jewellery with any gemstones or anything within it. I do also have a brooch that looks very similar that I wear, you know, I sometimes wear the two together. So we'll just have to see. I mean, there's no point having them and them just not being worn. So we just have to wear them and see. So that was it really. That was my update. And um, I hope some people found that useful. Like I say, if you have, if you do own anything like that and the same thing has happened, then please do go into Chanel and give them the opportunity to put it right because we've well, paid good money for that and it, it's nice to have it um, back in a position where you can wear them and feel proud of wearing them. I don't want to wear something that's got half the bits missing, you know, whether it's Chanel or whether it's H. Samuels. It doesn't, it doesn't matter, you know, it's, you want things right. Or well, I do, I want things right. So, I hope you found that useful and... Less than 10 minutes like a first. And um, please subscribe. I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. I'm hoping there'll be an Hermes unboxing soon. Just something little. But we'll have to wait and see. So um, for now, bye.